Hello everybody, this is the Goofs and Fox coming at you with a new Gundam video and uh, this one's going to be coming out a bit later than when I usually post. Uh, packing and moving things around have kind of messed with my schedule a bit, but uh, we're here with a match in the Gun Cannon SML and I posted a non-commentary match uh, with this suit uh, when I was unavailable, I think what, last, was last month, but um, I did have this match I was able to get recently from the same live stream that Aqua Vengeance hosted that I had my Goof Flight type video in, so it uh, gave me an opportunity to kind of, you know, talk about the suit a bit, and I'm not going to get a counter on this E3 Custom, but it's going to take out my legs as well, so it's not going to be much I'm going to do here. Uh, kind of a bit of a rough start this match, but I do find my footing eventually here. I'm gonna, yeah, gonna try to eject and fly off, but um, yeah, there's a lot of enemies around me. But Gun Cannon SML it used to be a PlayStation Store exclusive suit. It was you had to get it from the token packs. I think it was actually one of the first suits as well. These first suits over here uh, when this game was released in the states, but. Um, after a bit it became a recycle ticket store suit that you could get. I don't know if it's been ever added to the DP store. It may have, but... Um, yeah, it's a very fun suit. It's a variant of the gun cannon, and it uses a lot of the same kits, but instead of the shoulder-mounted cannons, you have these two missile launchers instead, and they're like these spray missiles, I guess you just call them the spray missiles, because, uh, well, they're good at spraying areas. Gonna be trying to fly atop the building here and make use of my beam rifle, though. And, yeah, I prefer to use this suit over the regular gun cannon, because I feel like these spray missiles give you a bit more versatility. Alright, finish off that pale rider there. But, I think this is also, yeah, 350 cost suit, so it's the same cost as the regular gun cannon at level 1. And you seem to try to use these missiles here. I was able to hit three separate targets, so I was able to spread some damage out, and they reload fairly quickly, so you can kind of get some constant use out of them. Um, someone's calling support fire, I'm just gonna throw some grenades while my weapons are reloading. I don't know if that support- oh, actually I don't even know if that support fire is hitting me, because I'm getting attacked by what I think might be the Pale Rider. And I'm gonna spray a few more missiles just around to see if I can't hit anything. Doesn't look like I was able to tag anything, though. Uh, team is moving in, I'm just gonna stay back here. I do see something there that has a beam, so I think it might be a Zaku-1 sniper, because there's a yellow beam. So it might be the enemy team's support. I also forgot to mention, interest, um, interestingly enough, that we're just not a majority Xeon team except for me, but we have three Saku 2 Fritz helmets. So, uh, yeah, interesting team set up here. But let's see, can I try to spray a few more missiles? I don't think I have the range to land them though, so. Just gonna have to stick with the beam rifle for now. Oh, that's an Akzaku. Uh, missed my shot on that. I think... Yeah, so it looks like they're all moving down there. Um, did almost kill something. Looks like a few more hits might be able to get him. I might get an assist on whatever that was. Uh, we'll see in a bit. Team is low though, so I do need to be careful. I probably should have started moving back, but see if I just can't stay hidden. Although enemy is calling support fire, so now would be a really good time to start boosting back. Teammates are spawning in though, so I should be able to stay back here a bit. Alright, there's the Pale Rider. Looks like it has its... Hades on, which is actually good for me, because when the Pale Riders have their Hades active, they gain increased damage. So if I can land a few hits, I might be able to finish him off, although I think someone may have already gotten him. Oh, whatever that is, that's a general of some kind. I can't see... 
looks like... Actually, it looks like it might have been a... Gel not Gelguk, a <laughs> Zaku 2 Stutzer. I haven't seen one of those in a while. You ever know when the Zaku 2 Stutzer used to be, like, the one of the most common 350s? Uh, and that might be the Zaku 2 Fritz helmet at the moment. And that is the free custom, and this is not a good scenario for me to be in. Good thing my teammate was able to get him there. I think yet Taru was able to get the finishing blow, I think. And, <laughs> yes, um, yeah, finding any free custom, especially here in the trenches as a support, um, yeah, I was just lucky that my team was around me for that one. Alright, team is moving in. Seems the enemies are in the trenches, so it doesn't seem like I can hit too much. Looks like that might be the Stutzer again. Enemy support fire is coming in, so I need to be careful. I'm going to finish off that enemy with these spray missiles, though. Alright, so two minutes remaining. We got a pretty decent lead at the moment. That looks like a gym ground type. I think so, yep. Yeah, because that's the bazooka, so yeah, it's a gym ground type. Alright. Oh, uh, number six is going to come to my assistance, though. Uh, and see if I can try to break their legs for my teammate, which my one shot there is going to be able to do that. Try to get a tackle and a melee. Um, his counter did... Or not his counter, his tackle did connect on me, though, and that's going to be enough to finish me off. Uh, probably mainly get the help of the shield skill that the some suits get with their shields. That they gain an increased tackle damage while their shield is still attached. So probably had enough power to stop me there. All right, waiting to respawn. We do have two um way uh, what are they waypoints? Are they other call waypoints in this game? I apparently I can't remember. We have two. I'm just saying we have two beacons ready that have support fire, and someone is requesting support fire at one of them, so let's hope we can kind of keep that since the enemy team is fairly grouped up. I have a few things shooting at me, and I have the Aksaku trying to pursue me. Good thing it's a regular Aksaku and not a Aksaku commander type, because that would do a lot of damage to me. I was going to eject and leave, but I think now I'm going to try to see if I can't repair my suit a bit. Hop back in, 709 HP, and hefty damage to my legs. I don't think I'm going to be able to get too much, but one more beam round in. I think I melee too early, and I don't have melee priority over the Aksaku, so I probably wouldn't have been able to get the finishing blow there, but... I think somebody was able to finish him off at least, and that's going to be a timeout, and let's see what we are working with. Alright, mission completed. And, uh, no top of the board here. Some of our Zaku Fritz helmets did pretty good, as well as our Goof Heavy Arms, which are type diversions. Uh, ninth place overall, three kills and three lost. It a uh, pretty alright score with the gun cannon SML here. Um, yeah, it's a fun suit to play, and let's see, yep, so that's going to be the end of this video. Yeah, SML, uh, it's definitely got some utility to it. Again, I prefer using it over the regular gun cannon, because uh, with the sniper rifle and just the cannons, it doesn't feel like there's too much I can do, but with the spray missiles, I do feel like I can kind of fire into a crowd, and I have less chance of accidentally staggering my teammates, so there's that as well. But, yep, with that, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Later!